Hey guys, it's Tanya from Four Girls Jewelry. Today my earring day. So I will make a bunch of the small earrings like this. If you guys want to learn how to make them, stay with me. If you like to create jewelry that matching, you can also make the same element, but instead of one wrapped loop for the earrings, you can put two and make it beautiful component that can go for your long necklaces or any jewelry even rings you can make a ring like that too okay so let's pick up some 24 gauge i will use today 24 because for the for this part i use 24 also for inside when i catch the bead so like i said it's only for earrings but for component you can use inside wire thicker and let's first think about the object that we will use I have this flat wire you need something flat and it's not really doesn't matter how long because you all you need is like a small piece basically and just have longer one that I will wrap and let's see it's just it's not even one fourth so you see how small it is like it's it's very um that that's that's the if you have something longer than this let's say half inch or even more um i think half will be too big maybe one fourth it's even perfect because that will be petals for your flowers Okay, I'm taking 24 gauge and it's pretty long, but I will leave a tail at that much. Just leave it like here. And all you have to do, wire wrap 25 times around this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can squeeze it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, twenty, and then five more. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. So we have twenty-five right here. Before you remove, you can use your rubber rubber mallet and gently. Um, hammer them or anything with the like plastic so you can just push it I am really good pushing see how it's like strong pushing so they are flattened it and that then only slowly you know try not to like you're pushing from up down and you have this little a spiral like this but it's flattened completely do you see and i will cut here so this is the wire that we will make this part see that's the thing um and now we need it or you can so anyway, so that's what we have. Then now I will use also 24 gauge that I just cut. I'll, I will use it for making, put them together. So I don't need a large piece like about that. If you have any leftover or anything, you can use that too. Because you just need a little piece of wire. Okay, so now what we do. If you don't need this anymore. We don't need any of those tools yet. Okay, so I put this wire inside. So we have two legs sticking right here, and we have this. Gently, I will make it nice, nice, nice. Pretend that there is a round bead there, and you're just going around. Going around, around, around like this you know and the the trick is you need one leg where you cross with um, 
with that wire from inside it not not these legs but the one that was inside you want to bring one to the middle so like i will take from here and inside and you actually go 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 my middle will be right here yes and i will start slowly pushing it and sometimes it could be tricky because you just stuck uh okay See how it is coming? So you put one of the legs, it doesn't matter which one you want. So we push this one to the top and I use one to straighten it this way. And I will anchor first wire here and cut. At least we get rid of one, right? Uh, previously for the other earrings I used I think a 26 gauge because I had leftover so I used an out 24 also it's kind of harder to do with 24 I can tell okay so what we have here we will shape it later but now we want to put our bead I feel like it's not even centered but that's what I did so we be putting this up using the bead put a bead inside let's see where we are and uh, just go around and cut so this is for the black pair have one done let's see and in the black pair you put the wire around so then we have one more wire right and you go with this wire around just use your if, if you want to pliers you can use pliers here i use with the fingers like nails my nails are my tools <laughs> So, okay, so I'm around it and then I go around that too. And that's it. Without the camera, without going slow, this very, very quick project, actually. So that's it, we, we just tied it up here. Now will be fun part because you wanna bring those petals up. And like make it sit nice you know need longer nails for that or some kind of hook I use you know what I use it's funny I use very tiny needle and just go like this you know make it spaces nicely together yes don't want to need it help so yeah, that's, you can see some of them closer, some of them. So you just nicely sit and play, do it. And you will have beautiful, beautiful flower component. And guys, you can use hide and lay later gently, like go over just a little bit more if I feel like they needed to be um, more squished so they can stay together but they will trust me they will because if you hammer first time perfect they will it's actually create stable nice component so that's what i want to share today i hope you guys like it and i was thinking i will just make tons of necklaces long necklaces with a little um same motif right when you when you want to make component for your necklaces though you just when you put two legs that these remember when you go inside and you will have one wire second wire just cut that wire bigger when i did mine for this one i heated the wire that goes inside 
so it was so flexible when I pull it like in the opposite direction it was uh, easy to maneuver that wire inside and I make two wrapped loops and when I made wrapped loop here I just go around the bead and finish on the other side here this also was wrapped loop so then I took wire and go all the way you can tell all the way about the bead and just wrap it here that's it and you will have beautiful beautiful uh, little motif you can make three of them as a long earrings you can make larger one with a bigger stone as a middle part for the necklace on the chain you name it let me know what you think and i will see you all next tuesday thank you for watching um i really really appreciate it. and see you next week thank you guys bye 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 bye